everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Not Epic 7. This is Mango's Mobile Madness, and this is something I personally am super excited for that probably not everybody else is, you know, but this is my favorite game series of all time by quite a bit, I think. It's just brought me so much happiness, and I've super enjoyed it. And that is, if you know me at all from uh, Discord, considering my Discord is named after it, uh, join in the description below, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's the Atelier game series. Uh, they have a ton of games, an absolute boatload of games going back forever. And they're getting a new, in quotes, uh, it's a global, I think it's a gotcha. Honestly, I have no idea. I, I haven't really heard about it till now. And I'm just excited to share it with you. Maybe I heard about it a while ago, but saw it was only JP and I was just like, huh. You know, it's like, huh? And uh, now I'm excited. So they have the announcement trailer, which was posted in 2017. So yeah, it's another one of those games that was out there before, and now it will be eventually coming here. I have not watched this trailer yet. Actually, I probably have three years ago or four years ago. So this kind of concerns me. Because it looks very multiplayer focused. Ten out of ten music. Okay, so I'm super excited for that. It doesn't look like a game type I would super enjoy, but it's one I will definitely be playing because of the Atelier uh, universe. And we're going to go over some other things in the Atelier universe as well. So um, first things first, we have the wiki here if you want to check it out. They show you a ton of stuff here. I actually like being surprised. I know I'm a, I'm a YouTuber and I should be telling y'all everything, but I'm just really 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 excited and i want to kind of experience this for example we have like uh aisha tatori we have eska esha i always forget how to say their names we have Laji, uh we have maruru who's awesome we have riza who's thighs um sophie lady swell there's so many sweet characters and i'm hoping a bunch of the um backup characters like esti uh for example are coming too um, so yeah, there's some promotional art here as well. Let's see if we can find some more- <laughs> Wow! Okay, there's boobies! I don't know why there's boobies, but I guess I gotta cut that out. Um, swimsuit, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, all of that is getting to be weird. <laughs> Why was that in the proportional art? Uh, okay, so we're gonna skip that part. So there's the pre-register for Atelier Online Alchemist of Brazil. Uh, and this doesn't have a date yet, but it was just updated recently, April 7th. And, uh, you can see some stuff here. And it's not for iOS yet, but it should be soon, I'm guessing. It's also Boltren. So Boltren are the people who are running Disgaea right now, and I think they're doing a pretty good job now. They started off rough, but I think they learned a lot, and hopefully what they learned is going to translate into Atelier. We then have some screenshots here. This person on the subreddit got a Rorona and a Marie. On the first day, I closed beta. Uh, beta really cool. Rowan is a really good game, by the way. I really do enjoy it. Um, we then have their Facebook here with stuff. We have a ticket gotcha here for Bergamot, Catnip, Mushroom, and Dandoria. I actually don't know who those are. So maybe they're in one I haven't played, and I've only not played like one or two. They have an official Discord as well. Close... Uh, beta test celebration gotcha for Marie and Rorona. Um, and then we have stuff like the limited time event for Tatori, one of my favorites. I really, really, really like Tatori. 
Uh, we then have this. I already showed that. Some more closed beta art. And then we get into the juicy part. My part I wanted to talk about. Because I have a lot of anime figures. And I have basically every Atelier one but one. Which I will order probably this year. Um, we have the Tatori here, I believe. Looking awesome. This is by Fat Company, I believe. And I really, really, really like the design of it she's got her little alchemist potions she's just super awesome really 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 enjoy this one um we then have the rorona here again she's got little alchemist pots looking fantastic really a huge fan of that gotta get a picture of her butt really happy with this one we then have this one here which is the uh maruru and again i love this one this one's kind of awkward like it the proportions look weird and it just looks a little weird but i love it it's my second favorite i have i think um really really happy spoiler alert for some more stuff coming <laughs> i love all the pictures together it makes me so happy uh we then have this one which is maruru and this is my favorite i love this one it just looks so perfect it just looks so happy. There's so many colors. And that's why I really like Fat Company. Um, Fat Company there. Because their their figures are really colorful. And I super enjoy it. They're not always the best quality. But, you know, the figures are just so awesome. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I love the pictures people upload. Okay, what else do we have? We have this one here, which is Tatori. No, this is Maru, sorry. Um with one of the chim 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 i always forget the names it's been so long since i've played the games so uh don't get mad at me uh we then have aisha here and this one was actually really hard to find it was super rare back in the day i ended up uh 225 and 160 nice i ended up getting it for like 150 canadian or something like that from like a weird uh weird not local but local to canada site um, this one was super, super hard to get and was actually the last one to kind of complete my collection. We then have this one here, which is Esha and Laji. Uh, Laji's not in this, obviously, but Laji will be in the game as well. Pretty good details there. And then we have Thighmaster 6000. Ryza. I actually haven't played Ryza yet. Uh... But I will soon, and I don't have this figure yet because I want to play the game first and then buy it. But this is when Atelier started to get a little more um, popular <laughs> because thighs. Because like it's so much easier to sell a game with these honking thighs and these honking boobs as opposed to something like this, right? Or like one of the earlier ones like Rorona or um, Tatori there. Uh, cause she is just Thigh Master six thousand. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> so cool. I'm surprised somebody hasn't zoomed up to their butt. Yep, they have. Don't worry, it's there. <laughs> Gotta get the down shot of the cleavage too. God, I love anime figures. And then we have some Nenroids here. This is Tatori and Chim. Yeah, it's Chim. I got the right one. <laughs> I love Nendroids. They're so cute. And I believe there's some more Nendroids as well. I didn't have them on the list right now. But yeah. Um. Anyways, I just wanted to gush a bit about Atelier, okay? I'm going to be playing this game. I'll have some videos out for it. Probably not too many because I don't think it's going to be a big game whatsoever. But uh, it's definitely one I'm going to be enjoying. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you are subscribed and the bell notification and all that stuff. If you want to see future videos, have a great day. Bye!